The next mode we're going to have a look at is called the Phrygian mode, and it's a really interesting word to write down because it's got all of these consonants before we finally get to a vowel at the end. And the Phrygian mode is a really interesting and charismatic mode. It has all sorts of mysterious colours and flavours, and if we start to write melodies using it, we might be transported to a, to a far-off place. It, it gives a sense of maybe the Mediterranean sound. There's a lot of music that comes from that part of the world which does have a, a, a strong use of the Phrygian mode, and so we can start to maybe refer to that if we're looking to create a similar kind of sound to our music and the Phrygian mode just like any other mode is a white note scale that goes from one particular note to another particular note and in this case it's E to E so our Phrygian scale goes from E to E and of course it's going to go through all the other letter names on its way from E to E E F G A B C D E and that will give us the sound of our Phrygian mode. Now have a listen to this and see what you think. I think it's this bit at the beginning which is which is very different to a major scale or a minor scale. Just gives us a, a very different flavour to our melody. And so why does this Phrygian mode have this unique character? I said it was something to do with the beginning of the mode, and if we compare it to perhaps some of the other scales that are a little bit more familiar, we'll see why that's the case. So if you imagine an E minor scale, an E minor scale looks something like this. It has an F sharp at the beginning. And we'll just use the, the natural minor, because that's the one that's the closest to, to this scale. And we'll see that actually the only difference between uh, an E natural minor scale and this Phrygian mode when it starts on E is that we have different Fs. Actually the only difference between these two scales is that here we have a tone between the first and second notes, this E to an F sharp, and here in the uh, in the Phrygian mode we have just a semitone between the E and the F. So we might say one of the sort of characteristics of the Phrygian mode is it has this flatten second sound that the second note of the mode is very very close only a semitone away from the first note or the root note and that's what gives us this kind of exotic um, sound to the scale If you want to find a really good example of someone using the Phrygian mode a good place to look would be on an album called Sketches of Spain and this again is by the trumpeter Miles Davis. I said that Miles Davis was very important in the history of uh, jazz music because he did start to introduce the use of modes um, to add different colours and flavours to his music. And this is an album that he produced um, that was sort of evoking ideas of Spanish music. Even though it was very much jazz music, there were sort of flavours of, of jazz in there and it was very richly orchestrated music. So it has instruments in there that actually normally you wouldn't expect to find in a standard jazz album. So you do have the trumpets and the drums and the and the other brass instruments, but you also start to hear other things as well, like you know, guitars come in very importantly, um, and there's a wider sort of orchestration using sort of different brass instruments. So there's a tuba in there, for example, which you, you probably wouldn't expect to hear normally um, on a jazz album. So why don't I have a listen to Sketches of Spain or next time you're at your piano have a go and, and see if you can find uh, some sounds uh, out of this scale out of this mode that, that exists between e and e i'm just going to finish this video now by just composing improvising a little piece using the phrygian mode using some chords and melody ideas that um, use this mode as its basic kind of structure